ask you a question. Are you tired of snacking on broccoli? Yeah. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Hey guys, so today's video is a hack video. I'm going to show you three foods that are loaded with carbs and sugar, and I'm going to show you how to make the low carb, low sugar version of them. They're foods that we all crave, like chips, dominoes, burgers, like I'm just gonna show you things that I crave the most and how to make it a more healthy way. Okay, so the first craving that we are going to tackle is Domino's Cheesy Bread. Yes, my cravings are not original whatsoever. Who doesn't like Domino's Cheesy Bread? So Domino's Cheesy Bread is loaded with sugar and carbs, so we're going to make the healthier option using cucumbers. Okay, so we are first starting with butter. We are using this to coat our pan, and then we took some cucumber slices that we cut up, and we are cooking them on low. This takes less than five minutes. You want to keep flipping them until they have sort of a toasted look, but they are soft on the inside. So this is how they look when they're finished. And now we're just mixing up some tuna fish. So we just use regular canned tuna fish and we're mixing just a tiny bit of mayonnaise just because I don't like mayonnaise, but feel free to mix it however you like. So now you just want to grab a pan and spray some non-stick cooking oil spray and put the cucumbers all in a line together, almost making it like a little tray. The fried cucumbers are going to mimic the texture and the taste of bread. So now you want to take your tuna fish and just spread it on the cucumbers. What I love about this recipe is we are going to be baking it in a couple of minutes and that really does play down the fishy taste of tuna fish and it does give it that same soft inside texture that cheesy bread does have. And the tuna fish is going to be providing some protein, so all in all it's a win. Now we're going on top of the tuna fish with some cheese and we're adding a lot so that it's nice and cheesy. So now we're putting it in the oven and we're going to broil it on high. It was in there for less than five minutes. We sat there and watched it the entire time until it looked like this. It's sort of like a toasted look and you're going to see it bubble a little bit and that's exactly what you want. And now we're just cutting it and it's ready to be served. So you just want to scoop it off the pan as carefully as possible and voila! Okay, the second thing that I am always craving, and I think a lot of you caught on because almost in every diet video I've mentioned an alternative to chips and dip. Well, I think that we figured out pretty much the exact way to have chips and dip without carbs. Yes, I am about to teach you how to make chips with zero carbs. Can I get an amen? Yes, and it is good and it is cheesy and you are going to love it. So to make the chips, we're using Parmesan shaped cheese. It looks just like this. It does all the work for you. That's all we have to do is put it on a pan, but first spray your pan with non-stick cooking oil. So now we're putting this in the oven and we're doing the exact same thing. We're broiling this on high. So this is another recipe that's going to take less than five minutes. So you definitely want to sit by the oven and watch what's going on. So Jared wanted me to show you that it does get bubbly like this, so don't get nervous if it's looking like this. This is like halfway through. It starts to look bubbly, and there it is. It's still bubbling. So now it's time to take them out, and like I said, this was less than five minutes. You can see that they are looking a little bit toasted, and they are still a little bit bubbly, but that's okay. You just want to let it cool on the pan and once it's cool, a little trick to know that they're done is you just touch it and once it's hard, you know that it's done. So now we're taking a spatula and just taking it off of the pan and you can just break them up to make them look more like chips because it's sort of like a sheet of cheese. So you just want to break it up and put it in a bowl and that's what we are doing. And there you have it, sugar-free and carb-free chips. So for the dip, I'm using sour cream. You can also use plain Greek yogurt. And I'm also taking a little bit of salt and I'm mixing that into the mixture. I like my dip to be really salty, so just make it however you like. And now I cut up some cucumbers and some garlic and that's what we're going to be adding for flavor for our dip. I love the dip just like this because we're already gonna be getting flavor from the chips because they are so cheesy. So you don't wanna overdo it with the dip. This is perfect just the way that it is and it's ready to be served. It was so quick, right? It was just so nice and easy and it's a great appetizer. 
So the last hack is perfect for anybody that enjoys a nice juicy burger but you don't want the bread from the bun. So what you could do is you could cut up a burger and not have a bun at all and that's a lot of fun. But a burger isn't fun without the bun. Does that rhyme? <laughs> or we can make a low carb bun using portobello mushroom caps. So you first just want to make cheeseburgers however you make them whether you make them in a pan or on the grill. So you first just want to spray your pan with non-stick cooking oil and then you want to put the mushrooms on the pan. So then you're going to put them in the oven and we set the oven to 350 and we kept them in there for around 20 to 25 minutes. The reason why you want to keep them in there that long is because you want them to dry out almost to the point where they're like a bun texture. And then you just want to add your favorite toppings, ours are onions and tomatoes and we are all done, voila! So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something that your diet doesn't have to be boring and rigid and really suck. You can make it fun. Just go in the kitchen and just decide, okay, what is it that I'm craving? And just start like making all these different concoctions of different ways you can make things that you're craving and then it'll be more fun and you'll stick to your diet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know down below if you want to see the dessert version. For anybody that has a sweet tooth, I'm really good at making different desserts that are great for ice cream cravings or pies. Um, I make two pies that are low carb and low sugar. So if you want to see that next, let me know in the comments down below. Also let me know if there's any recipes that you came up with and I will definitely try them. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you all soon. Bye!